Hello, everyone. And what I am going to say may make sense to you. It may make a lot of sense to you. Let's say there is a such thing as a demon of anger or a demon of confusion. Okay. So a demon is not a person, right? Okay. So if you saw it face to face, whether it is the demon of anger or the demon of confusion, would you argue with it face to face? Most people probably wouldn't. Why? Because it is a demon. Like, I don't think there is no good thing. I don't think there is any good in a demon. So if you are smart, you would command the demon to leave if you are living in Jesus Christ. Okay. So if you would not argue with the demon with the demon of anger or the demon of confusion, isn't it possible that those demons or more can influence people in a particular way. So you may not see the demon of anger or the demon of confusion face to face, but you may see your mom face to face. You may see your uncle face to face. Excuse me. You may see uh, your niece, nephew, associate, co-worker, your whomever. So, I know at times, you know, situations may get heated and you may get caught in the moment and do stuff, say stuff that you know you should not do. I understand that because sometimes that happens to me. But something to think about. If you know there is a demon influencing a person, or if you know trying to get someone to agree is going to make things worse, why are you trying to do it? You told me, for an example, you did not really tell me, but to, you know, make sense out of this. You told me that you would not argue with the demon of anger face to face. You would not argue with the demon of confusion face to face if there are those types of demons, which I believe they are. But if they influence people, you would argue with them? You would fight with them? You would harm them because of something they were probably influenced to do, if I said that right. If they were influenced, hmm. I may have to restate that if I said that wrong. Let me say it in this way. Chances are, I believe, 
the person you are having in issues with probably that person is being influenced by demons so the same way you would not fight in an earthly way with a demon but you would fight with it spiritually okay you need to do the same with that person because it is not really that person that is your problem but whatever that is influencing that person i hope this is making sense so you should not beat your wife yes you may say your wife has a very aggressive mouth you may say that she is very disrespectful and she hurts you with her words you may say to me kevin you know i have to hurt that man with my words because that man doesn't show respect to me so i have to hurt that person back listen now whether it is the woman's fault or the man's fault or whomever fault i believe if you dig deeper 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 and deeper you may find it is a demon that is over the whole thing, as in manipulating stuff. I truly believe so. Because why would the Bible say in Ephesians 6 and 12 that our battle is not our wrestle? Let me paraphrase it. In so many words, <laughs> our fight is not with humans, but with the demonic. Stop fighting people. Stop getting in these huge verbal fights. We need to stop that, including me. We need to stop that. Fight back spiritually. For instance, let's say you got into it with Joey and you know Joey is not going to listen to reason. So, okay, start praying, God. And you know, Joey is acting really bad. So I bind and cast any demon that is messing with us that is trying to get us to be in confusion so any demon of anger any demon of confusion hatred spite or whatever i command you to go right now in the name of jesus christ i restore my relationship or I restore, I restore my relationship with that person or restore whatever or make things better between me and Joey. I hope this is making sense. So any demon that is trying to get in between me and Joey, I command you to go straight to the pit of hell straight to the abyss right now in the name of jesus christ use your words fight back spiritually stop fighting joey joey may not even know that he is being influenced by demons he may not know it he may think you know, it is Kevin's fault. Kevin is doing everything wrong. Kevin is just a problem maker. And Joey may not even know that he is being controlled or should I say influenced to say those things or act in a very bad way. 
So if Joey or if a demon has controlled or whatever his mind to where he won't listen to reason from me, why should I continue to try to change things with my mouth concerning him? I need to fight whatever it is influencing him or myself. If there is any demon within me, if there's any problem within me, I command it to come out right now in the name of Jesus. I lose healing upon me. I lose whatever upon me to make myself better. If I have pride, if I have insecurities, if I have anything that is causing problems with other people, I take it out of me. I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope this is making sense. Let me stop here. May God bless you.